guys welcome back to another video and happy saturday for everyone hope you guys are having a good weekend today we are going to talk about the question that is on everyone's lips and that is how to correctly apply fundamental data now there's two ways that we are going to speak about it but before we jump into the video if you are new to the channel this stuff would be appreciated as i provide valuable educational content on a daily basis if you enjoy the video please smash the like button for the youtube algorithm and as always just let me know down in the comments below exactly what it is that you would like me to cover in my next video now before we get started we need to understand fundamental data as a general so fundamental data is one of the key contributing factors that drives the long-term momentum of any economical uh, 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 currency so whenever you want to understand what the long-term momentum of the or what the long-term uh, 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 trend is going to be for any currency uh, the first thing that you need to understand is how well is that currency doing now there is different data that we do look at but we mostly focus on high impact news now high impact news is exactly what it say it is high impact news refers to news that's got a high impact for that economic or for that currency or country in general now that's why we use this data to understand which way we are supposed to go in the long term or whether it is you want to catch 100 pips or 200 pips you need to understand what the overall economical situation is for that currency now on forex factory we use the the data over here because it's very good you know it's quite easy to read over here as well and i'll give you guys an example of two ways that you should trade well one way of how you should trade it and the next way of how you should not ever ever try to trade it and you'll also understand why i say you should not be gambling with your money when it comes to fundamental data now firstly uh, if you if you've never seen forex factory what you basically want to do is, is you want to come to this box over here and you want to check the red box because the red box is basically only high impact news that we care about now high impact news as you can see here could be an interest rate decision the consumer spending index which is the cpi the unemployment rate the ppi the retail sales uh, the that's also uh, and then we've got nfp as well as gdp now this data makes up how well a currency is doing now as an investor you need to think in that way as well before you step into the market and decide that okay i want to buy because the market is at the resistance or i want to sell because the market is at support you need to make sure that whether you're buying or selling that you are selling in line with what the current status is of that economy or if you're buying understanding that you know we had some positive news based off a certain high impact news event now to give you guys an indication of the two ways that you do approach the situation i've made a video in terms of how you can i'm uh, sorry i've made a video in terms of more detailed breakdown in terms of how you need what fundamental data is how you need to read it and all of that stuff but i'm going to show you guys an, a way in which you are supposed to apply the data as well now the video that i've made is somewhere listed within my youtube channel um so you can just go and have a look there where i give you the abbreviations in terms of what cpi is gdp nfp uh, you know all the p's um and 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 which will give you a better understanding in terms of how you know what the different data means but understanding what the data means and knowing how to trade it is two different things now if you're someone that focuses on a certain currency pair in the market it's very important that you understand the background in terms of the fundamental data and i'm not saying that uh technical data is not important technical data is the last thing you come and look at after you've gathered enough information from an order flow a sentiment and a fu fundamental perspective <clears throat> so let's say you're someone that likes to trade the euro right so you like to trade the euro now we're going to use this example over here now we know that on march the 10th we had the euro interest rate that came out right now you can see right over here this is the 10th basically year where the market had consolidated is where the interest rate decision came out now the problem that a lot of retail traders are doing before i impact news event what they'll do is they'll see the market would then consolidate 
And then the way they would approach this market is that what they'll do is, is they'll put a buy stop above that level and they'll put a sell stop below this level because they expect the market because they don't know what the outcome is going to be so they so so if it's negative they expect the market to dive, uh, to dive down and if it's positive they expect the market to hit their buy stop and run into profits now here's a good example i'm going to use the reply tool for this year and i want to show you exactly why you should not be trading with buy stops and sell stops before the market open firstly this was the consolidation phase that the market had printed this was before the interest rate this season came out right now the first thing that you must understand is that you don't trade fundamental data before it's released you wait for the release to come up and then you trade it now <clears throat> excuse me now this would have been a very good example of a year now let's say you were a retail trader right you come into this market and you don't know so you place your buy stop and you place your sell stop right so now you wait for the interest rate this season to come out so you expect the market to go and hit your sell stop and move to the downside go and hit that target there and you place another a buy stop and you place your buy stop with your target over there because you just want to catch a couple of pips now you probably saw what the market had done now you need to understand the biggest speculators in the market they don't gamble the way retail traders do what they do is is they wait for the news to come out and then they are reactive towards the news event but retail traders are <clears throat> like gamblers so they don't wait for the data to come out they gamble which way they think the market's going to go and because these speculators know exactly how retail traders think they go and they hunt all that positions now you can see firstly what the market did over here so the market triggered this sell stop First, retail trader thinks right we are going to the downside stop loss would have probably been somewhere in there so what they do is is they know that here is liquidity around this area this is where the liquidity is because liquidity sits below consolidation phases this is where liquidity is this is where buy stops are this is where sell stops are stop losses will probably be slightly in there some people don't trade with a stop loss buy stop stop losses will be there so the market goes triggered that sell stop retail traders go oh yes we made it and then <clears throat> then what they do is now they go and they <clears throat> excuse me so now they go in and they trigger that sell stop sorry they trigger your stop loss with the next candle so firstly what they do is uh, what what they do is is they firstly activate your sell stop <clears throat> then they go and hit your stop loss now they've now grabbed the, this liquidity of every retail trader with a sell stop there and there is a lot of people that does this so they've grabbed millions and millions and millions and millions like Tom said millions and millions and millions of money over there but if you think they're done you have to think again because they're not done they want to grab more stop losses now remember the news came out and it was negative for the euro so the market has every right to go down it is supposed to go down it must go down because the, the interest rate was kept at zero so this is a bearish market but that does not mean that you should just get in and sell right away so now they've grabbed all of this liquidity from the retail traders what do they do now is they go and they go and hit that buy stops now buy stops stop losses are there then the market come and they activate those stop losses as well they've grabbed all of that liquidity they grab this liquidity here as well now they're done now they're going to start moving the market in the direction that it is uh, initially supposed to go and you can see here uh, liquidity was grabbed liquidity was grabbed and then the market moved to the downside now the best way to trade this fundamental data now is to first wait for the data to get released once data is released then you go and you make use of technical analysis and technical analysis is very simple if you're a price action trader you would know that you would then go on the daily time frame you would wait for the market to first create and then break structure um, as i've explained in my previous level uh, sorry my previous video so if you want to know how to trade this the, the safer way wait for the data to come out and then you go and apply the video that i made on how to trade support and resistance which was the video i made last week friday and you will get a better edge in the market because why we traded the euro news when it came out as well but we didn't trade it as it came out the same with the cat news we traded the cat news as well this news we traded it on friday with uh, 
uh, uh, uh, with the people uh, in the signal stack. So we traded that as well, but we didn't trade this news before it came out. We waited for the data to be released first, and then boom, we jumped into that uh, 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 selling positions. Euro, every euro pair we sold. I even made a YouTube video on the fact that the euro was going to move to the downside, but that's because there was a lot of speculation that they were going to keep the euro at a zero interest rate. But we first waited for the confirmation for the market to bring out that news first before we go in there as well. Now, I know what you've been taught in the past before that buy stops and sell stops, they work. Well, guys, this does not work. The market will hunt that liquidity and then go to the initial downside position. Same thing happens with NFP. Before NFP, gold does this. The NFP is negative. By definition, gold is supposed to go up, but gold will go up, it will go down, and then it will go up because the market needs liquidity from retail traders. That's why it's important. You wait for the news to come out first. You wait for the market to react to that news. Then you get a low price. Then you get in there to minimize your risk. Buy stops and sell stops are for gamblers. We don't trade that. We trade with, it's better to trade with what you know than what you think you know or based on what you think is going to happen in the market. Because if you think like that, you think like a typical retail trader and the market is going to make you pay a hefty price. And you can check this many times, many times. During NFP, the market consolidates, fake out, fake out, move, fake out, fake out, or you get a fake out, fake out, move. Like we saw here, boom, fake out, boom, fake out. Then let's start moving to the downside. Now, if you enjoyed the video, you can smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And as always, just let me know down in the comments below exactly what it is that you would like for me to cover in my next video. I want to say thank you so much for your time. And as always, cheers for years.